Hey Ty. Did you find your shovel yet? Hey Ty. You ready for a nap? You ready for a nap, Ty? Wanna take a nap? So welcome back everyone, Mike here, and I also want to welcome all the new subscribers. We have gained a bunch of people this week. Just since this past Sunday, uh, there have been several thousand people joined our little community here, and I really appreciate it. But it is a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, just absolutely gorgeous. We had a bunch of rain last night, but it's clear skies today, and it cooled down a little bit. So first on the agenda this morning, I'm going to finish up this patio area here and get it ready for concrete. A lot of people have been asking when we're going to pour the concrete inside the building and outside. I'm not sure what day, but it's coming quick, and I have a lot of work to do to get ready for that. What I did here, I put some of that 2A limestone in there. That is inch and a half down to dust, and it was wet from the rain last night, so it compacts really, really well with that plate compactor. Then I set up my rotating laser, and I'm actually pretty close, but here in the middle... I need some of that 2B limestone and just a little bit next to the posts out there. So I'm going to hop on the BX here in a minute. We'll put some more of that in here, rake it out, get it good, and then compact it real well. And this area will be done, ready for the concrete, guys. We're going to have uh, four and a half inches of concrete out here and like five and six inches inside the building. Six inches in the shop area, five in the game room area. Out here... 
Uh, it'll be like a, a colored decorative concrete. I think it's called like slate looking or something. I saw it. It looks fantastic. I can't remember what it's called though, but it should look really good and match the building real well. This right here where I'm walking, it's super hard. We had that good fill material in here. Hit that with the plate compactor. Put some of this 2B in here. Hit it again with the compactor. And I'm just going to keep doing that. But you can just tell walking through here. You can feel it on your feet. Good and solid. It'll make a nice job. Oh, and by the way, before I get back to work, I wanted to mention, contrary to what Melissa may have been telling you, I have been adjusting very well to my stay-at-home schedule. A few little hiccups here and there, but overall it's been great. See, what I used to do, I would start editing video like at 4 a.m. before work, and I'd usually finish up around 5.30, quarter to 6. And then, you know, you save the video to your desktop, that takes about 10 minutes, and then uploading it to YouTube usually took about 35 or 40 minutes because I upload in 4K. And while it was uploading, I would get a shower and get ready for work, come out, kind of finish the video up, title, description, all that stuff, and set a time for it to publish. And then I would leave for work like 20 after 6 or 6.30. Well, what I'm doing now, I still get up at 4 o'clock and I edit video. But once I'm waiting for it to upload, like this morning, I hopped in the truck, I drove into town, went for a walk for a couple miles and I come home and the video would be ready to go. However, this morning I forgot to click upload or something. I don't know what I did. So that's why if you saw yesterday's video, it was 15 minutes late, but I'm getting on to a good system here and I'm really enjoying it. I like uh, taking my time spreading the stone and you got a lot less raking. Alright, it's coming along. I could just tell when I was running the plate compactor though. I'm still a little bit low in the center. I'm going to run around here and check it out. Good there. So uh, everything's coming out really nice here. I got everything on grade right here. But more importantly, Ty has some really big news to share. Big news. 
What is it, Ty? What's the big news? He's about to be a big brother. His shirt says it, big bro. Yeah, they dropped Ty off this morning about 5.30 a.m. and went to the hospital. And we just got a text from Levi that they're about to have the baby any minute. So, so we will soon we have a granddaughter. We will be excited. Yeah, that's what they say. So, you know. Pretty exciting. I am excited. Yeah, so you're gonna, we're going to have Ty here for a couple of days. Yeah, I think Ty is now mine, which is fine. That was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> and look, all Ty wants is Pap's tractors. You ready to be a big brother? He's ready to be a big op operator. You want to drive the tractor, huh? Not <laughs> quite ready yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to think of it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Ty's pretty excited. He just doesn't show it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't show it. Your whole world's about to change, little man. Yeah. How old's Ty now? Eight. Months? No, he's um, almost 20 months. Almost yeah. 20 months old. He's a few uh, words you can hear him say every so often, but um, yeah, he's not talking in words. Uh, Kate talks Thai to him, and Levi and our family speaks English, so he's learning both languages, and it's it's very obvious that he understands things. So I don't have any concerns. Um, you know, like they say, most intelligent people talk late. Yeah. I think I was 16. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I think I was a very early talker. I probably talked when I was like five months old. I hope you can see the arm swing. He's got a real strong arm swing when he walks. Let me see if I can show you. Come on. There we go. So we have some really big news to share. Uh, Melissa mentioned earlier that our daughter-in-law, Kate, and Levi were at the hospital. She was getting ready to have a baby, and she had that baby, and everything is just perfect. Yeah. Busy. They sent us a picture. She looks just like Ty did when he was born. She might have a little more hair. She was 6 pounds, 13 ounces, and 19 inches long. Her name is Thea. Her middle name is a Thai name that I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah. But both mother and daughter are doing great. Uh, we couldn't be more happy. We're blessed. It, it has been a uh, been a crazy week. We got it's funny, you know. I did that video the other day talking about leaving my job. We have been busy this week. Yeah, We're really busy. Mm -hmm. Hannah's baby shower was the other day. Bridal, bridal baby. <laughs> I can't even keep track. <laughs> bridal shower. Hannah's bridal shower. Baby born. Left yeah. my job Friday. Yeah. Uh, it's been crazy. All good yeah. stuff, though, and we're just very thankful, very blessed. Yes. And I uh, always get a little nervous, you know. I mean, they're so good at these hospitals now with, with the babies and stuff, but, uh, and everything's just different now, you know. It is. You remember when you oh, had Hannah? <laughs> yeah. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I literally went and shot a shot at my real job. I was a blaster that afternoon. We had yeah. Hannah in the morning, but I was the only blaster. And it really wasn't a big deal back then, but now guys get six, eight weeks off too and stuff. It's crazy. But uh, I think actually all of our kids. Yeah. Mike took a half a day or. Yeah. You know. But yeah, everybody's real healthy. Everything's great. And by the way, Melissa's dressed like this because she just shot a video on uh, her channel, Morgan's Off the Leash. You'll have to check that out. You'll see this one before that. Uh, but yeah, check out her video. Uh, it's a good one. Uh, I think he did good. Thanks. I was kind of uh, over here in the house and all over when she was doing it, but I think she did a good job. Thanks. But before I wrap this video up, I have to head down to my mom's. I have an update on the Chevy Captiva uh, that you saw in the last video. I mentioned a thousand dollars or else. We're trying to get rid of that car, so I need to go down there and check something out, and I'll let you know what's going on with it. The Craptiva. Craptiva. <laughs> One more thing, we got the tumblers and the water bottles back in stock. So go to outdoorswiththemorgans.com and hit the, uh, I think there's a link for just, you know, store. And then you can check out our tumblers and the water bottles. We got a new size of tumbler. There's a 20 ounce tumbler, 30 ounce tumbler, and a 32 ounce water bottle. And we got a few new colors. So check them out. Make sure you get your orders placed for your dads before Father's Day. So the Chevy Captivia dodged a bullet. I mean, 
seriously dodged a bullet. Really did. So if you saw the last video, you know the story on this uh, Chevy Captiva here. Uh, but if you didn't, I'll give you a brief rundown. This is my mom's old car. She bought a new Ford Escape that she really likes. This one here she had some real trouble with. Uh, the engine, timing chain, I'm not sure which happened first, but it barely runs. It definitely needs a new engine. Anyway, in yesterday's video, I said we were trying to sell it for $1,000. And if we didn't sell it by this weekend... I was going to buy it from my mom for $1,000 and make it go away. And I had a lot of big plans for this car. I really did. Uh, but we have somebody coming tomorrow to pick it up. And he's a mechanic. And he's about an hour away. He'll get an engine from a junkyard. He'll do all the work. And he'll have a pretty reliable vehicle, especially with him doing the work. He'll know what all was done to it. So that's good. I think that's a good thing. There's a lot of interest, actually. I got a bunch of emails but uh, most of the people were kind of far away. Uh, this will be good, though. But I just came down here to figure out which engine's in this because I forget and get him the VIN number so he can get started getting what he needs for it. And by the way, the guys in Australia call these a Chevy Craptivia. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And, you know, there's a lot of people from Australia that watch our channel, and they are just fantastic people. I have a real good friend there, Mark Daniel. I met him. But we always have people commenting from Australia. We actually had someone send us some license plates the other day. But overwhelmingly, very, very nice people. Nice comments. Uplifting, positive people. And so, a little shout out there to Australia. All right, I got all the information to the uh, guy that's interested in it. So if he comes and gets it, the Captiva will live to see another day. But anyway, that's it for today's video. We really appreciate y'all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.